going to be anticipating that leg, tucking it, and trying to hook it. Right? If I can hook it on that same side he's trying to throw, that's the, that's the most di uh, dangerous defense for the hoop coming in. Right? I always, when I'm throwing a leg in, I make sure I count for that near side arm chucking that boot in because I can't let him hook there. If he hooks there, then I'm going to get into trouble. Okay? So I have to get <clears throat> that, that arm out of the game. Now, on the opposite side of things, on bottom, I'm, my, my first goal should be Okay, I know that's coming. I'm gonna tuck this on down. I'm gonna try to catch that leg coming in. So Jordan throws that boot here, and I'm able to get this near side arm underneath it. What am I gonna go to, guys? Anybody recognize this situation? I think about like single. Here, crack down. I can come put underneath, right? I can turn in from here, close this foot. I can hop over here. Turn into him. I got a couple of different options. I can shelf it like this, turn, touch the weight. Right? These are, these are the different ways you're going to attack that leg when he's throwing it in if you can hook with this same side of the arm. Now, I'm going to assume <coughs> that most kids are going to be conscious. They're going to take that arm out. Um, if you're able to, maybe warm that arm underneath, that can help. But uh, the main thing that I want to address is just a couple of ways to prevent the leg from coming in and then scoring and then uh, off of him throwing that boot. So <laughs> now, assume he kicks that arm forward to get that boot in. First thing I want to do is what? I want to pitch my knees, right? I don't want to sink that between my legs. And I want to try to get it up as high as I can on this far hip. Why am I doing that? Why do I want that ankle as far up here as I can? Huh? Yes, you want to get his hip on the mat. So basically what I want to do is I want to take that rope and I want to climb it. I want to pull it as taut as I can to try to force that hip down. If I can force that hip down, well now I can come windmill over here and try to catch and try to catch that head and then I can finish like a single there or I can come here and just keep on circling until he bails out and falls out. <laughs> so again, he comes in, I pinch, he accounts for this, leg comes over. Now I want to come here as high as I can, like that. And I, I like stepping this foot up too, to help defer, defer some of that weight off of my muscles, right? I'm using this to keep my muscles from being fatigued, right? I'm shooting all that weight through my skeletal structure. And what I'm talking about is that windmill is here. Now I got it here. I can turn it in. And maybe you get this trail. Or here, if I can get my arm through like this, come to the hip, go like a double. And a lot of times in this situation, he's in real bad shape and he feels like he can't score here. He'll bail like that. I'm trying to take it away. I follow. So two things so far. Catch here, I uh, get to my hip like this, head under, I can catch the waist, right? Or I can post that to the mat and circle over top of that knee. <laughs> Second, pinch the knees, get, the, get that ankle to the hip, try to shelf it up, come over top, or catch the waist here. Any questions on either of those? When the boot is in, one of the things I want to do is kind of is get my hip on the mat, and I want to kind of I want to do my little shoulder roll from my stand-up series here up to try to create that space and leave that hip on the mat. So if he's really good at keeping that seat belt, even if you have it up here, one of the things I like to do is come up once I have him here, just kind of bump him down, right? I want to shake him because. I can sit in that position. What you don't know on bottom is that you're using next to no energy and it's taking a lot of juice for him to hold on. His butt is hanging off, right? He's in trouble. He's gonna try and start moving you first. So if you can stay solid here, 
while he's in this position and just be patient, a lot of times that, that, that hip will drop on its own. But if not, and you need to just score really quick, what I like to do is kind of give him a little shove, try to force him off. So come here. It looks like this. So if Jay's keeping it really tight, he's keeping his foot up. See me posting here, all forearm and arm muscles. This is tough. One of the things I like to do is really make sure this is up high. I keep him a bump like that. I'm trying to see a little bit to give myself some space. Right? Scoop, bump, cut. Be patient, make sure you keep on going there, and don't try to do something stupid where he's gonna get that leg in. If you get that ankle up to that hip here, you need to be patient, hold it, bump, scoot, bump, scoot. Good question, very good question. Any other ones? All right, let's get after it. Ready, one, two.